in the Palisade Plaza Community Room, 3700 Palisade Avenue, Second Floor, in the City of Jersey. Everyone, please rise to smooth the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Utilized by the Union City. Mayor, we recommend the Commissioners Martinetti and Fernandez recuse themselves from any 
Motion by Mayor Zach to approve. Second by Commissioner Rigos. Roll call to approve. Yeah. Commissioner Rivas. Yes. Commissioner Rivas. Yes. Commissioner Fernandez refusing. Commissioner Martinelli refusing. Mayor Stack. Yes. That the rectified three A's approving it. Number four is entitled Resolution Approving Shared Services Agreement for School Resource Officers with the Union City Board of Education. Second. Motion by Commissioner Irizarry, seconded by Mayor Stack. Roll call to approve the item. Commissioner Irizarry. Yes. Commissioner Rivas. Yes. Commissioner Fernandez refusing. Commissioner Martinetti is refusing. Mayor Stack. Yes. At the right effect, three approving the item. The fifth item is entitled Resolution Approving Shared Services Agreement with the Board of Education for Solid Waste Collection Services. Moved by Commissioner Rivas. Second. Second by Mayor Stack. Roll call to approve the item. Commissioner Irizarry. Yes. Commissioner Rivas. Yes. Commissioner Fernandez is refusing. Commissioner Martinetti is refusing. Mayor Stack. Yes. At the record, three A's approving the item. Would you like to take public comment? Sure. Anyone wishing to address the board at this time, please step forward. State your name and address for the record. Emilio Del Valle, 345th Street, Union City, New Jersey. <coughs> May I, the last meeting I had asked you if there was a, 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 any type of incident that happened should some park, and you said no, which is... Okay. And you asked me if I choke somebody at Shits and Park. <laughs> <laughs> there was an incident. That's why I'm asking. Exactly. You choke somebody at Shits and Park. Okay. 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 I'm not going to play this game. You have been charged with simple assault, Mayor. Are the taxpayers of Union City going to pay your legal bills? Absolutely not. Okay. Are you aware any civil action hasn't been filed against the city for your alleged actions? Not that I know of, sir. Okay. If you are sued, can you assure the taxpayers that they will not be responsible for paying your legal fees? Belli, I, uh, I have no action filed against me in that matter. Okay. No civil action. No civil action, but if you're sued, because I, I, I understand you have to appear in court January 7th. I have no idea if somebody sues me how they sue me. And okay, but if they do or they don't. You have to let me finish. Yeah, go ahead. You have to let me finish. If somebody sues me, I'll have to sue them by them being sued. Okay. Okay, so if you're being sued for whatever it is, is the city going to have to pay your bill? If they find you guilty Mr. of... Valley, I was at an event that had nothing to do with the city of Union City. No, okay. Okay. So if you are sued, there's a settlement, or you are found liable, can you assure the Union City taxpayers that you're not, you know, they're not going to be responsible for your actions? Well, this matter is pending litigation against me in action. Okay. I'm not going to say anything further. Okay, no problem. Now, let me ask you this question too, Mayor. On December 22nd, you held a citywide Christmas party. Flyers were sent out to all residents, inviting them to the party. Can you say who paid for the mailing? For what party? For, which for the one on December 22nd. Paid for through the Civic Association. Right, because you had no disclosure on your, on your mailing. I don't need to from the Civic Association. You don't need to have disclosure? No, you should do your homework. Yeah, okay. No, I, I'm doing my homework, believe me. I'm sure you all with your prepared questions said. That should exactly. I got to write them down. I'm sure you were prepared for you. I'm sure. Oh yeah. Excellent follow-ups. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Just to see clarity, who actually organized and paid for the Christmas party, which was held at the school park? Yeah. It has nothing to do with the city of New York City. No. No. But it was in the school. You can write me a letter, and if it's on a civic association, write me a letter to the civic association. I'll be more than happy to answer. It. So the Union City had no or indirect involvement in sponsoring the party. I stand by my comment. So that's, that's what you got to say. You, you're just going to say, write you a letter. You can write me a letter. And that's it. You don't want to answer the question now. No, I'm answering. So this, the Civic Association has nothing to do with this meeting. This is an official meeting of the Board of Commissioners. I'm talking about the Allow city school. me to finish, Mr. Del Valle. Yeah. I don't interrupt you. Allow me to finish. Okay. Okay. I understand you're trying to score points. You're sent here to do all this. And I understand it. Listen, I have no problem with this. Listen, man. You're paid. No, no, let me finish. You're paid okay. to do this. And okay. I understand it. It's okay. no problem. Okay. Write me a letter. I'll be more than happy to answer it. Okay. Now, that's the second time that you accuse me of being paid, that I'm getting paid to do this. Right. I've been in this city for 22 years, okay? And I used to come to this city in 1960, okay? So I'm a citizen of this city. I'm a resident here. I don't get paid by anybody to come here. That's good, Mr. My problem is where you're taking this city Thank and you. all the alleged and facts of what's been happening in the last six or seven months. Okay. With the FBI raids in the city, you know, we're transporting passengers from Toy Towers to the ferry. You know, all those actions that you've been doing, you've been, you know, paying off the, uh, the chief of police $200,000 personal check. You know, all that. That's what I'm concerned about. Okay. Okay? So I, I would appreciate you not telling me. I'm not getting paid. Okay. 
to do anything. Oh, stop telling me I'm a political hack and stop saying to me what agenda that I have. My agenda is that, to make sure that you don't take the city downhill and that's sure. what you're doing. We know okay? exactly what your agenda is. Thank you. Okay? Well, that's not my agenda. Well, you you exactly might know my agenda, but it is. We know agenda. exactly what it is. And I know your well. agenda, too. I know you very Because out of those 25 years, I was supported them for you. You supported that agenda, too. Okay? That's right. Well, you want a city payroll. Exactly. 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 Okay? Thank you for your comments, Mr. Uh, thank you. You're always, you're always very informative. Yes. Next comment? And I'll be even more informative. Oh, and I appreciate it. In that. the future, thank, okay? Thank you very much. I hope you are. Yes. My name is Frank Alonzo, 126 19 Street, Union City, New Jersey. Um, first, I want to thank you, Mayor, for my birthday card. I really appreciate that. Um, Mayor, <clears throat> I was able to secure that the city failed to do via Oprah from DCA the um, audit and financial statement from the City of Union City and federal and state grants. And in and, and research of that, Mayor, um, again, in all fairness to you, you don't have it in front of you, but <clears throat> Exhibit A17, the city had a 600, paid $660,000 of legal settlements. Who did we pay those to and why? Because they were undisclosed settlements for $660,000. And I'm not sure where you signed, but maybe you know, I, 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 I would have to look at the report to see. Um, I'm not sure if you signed it or not. Construction litigation matter with AC construction um, with regards to the amphitheater that was um, that was uh, but six hundred and sixty thousand dollars. I would have to check. I mean, I, okay. I'd have to look at the document. Later. Again, I'm just so, reading off of the. Uh, what was the name? If you could, Mr. Alonso, if you could just tell the corporation council the name and the document so she can go back. It's to it, uh, it is um, Exhibit A17 on the audit uh, audit provided by Donahue Jerons up in Victoria. <coughs> Um, so we don't know who we paid it. You can it. Um, also, Mayor, on A22, maybe the attorney can also take note of that, um, we left $1,363,000 on the table of grants that were canceled because, because what? I need to know why we left $1.3 million of grants that we canceled. I can tell you that there were no grants left on the table. We're very active in securing them, Mr. Alonso. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you're referring to, but I'll go back and refer to it, and I'll, I'll check it. Please. You. It's, again, A22 of the, um, of the audit provided by the auditors for the city. Um, also, on page 40 um, of the... Of the um, it might have been carried, what you cited may have been carried from one year to the other, but I'll get a clarity on that. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, also, on, on page 40, it really concerns me, Mayor, because a couple of meetings ago, you passed, you passed an a, a, a ordinance, excuse me, um, increasing our cap to 3.5%, increasing uh, taxes for the taxpayers of Union City. And here it clearly states, um, a deficiency in internal control exists, and this is information provided by your order. Uh, a deficiency in internal control exists design of operation and control does not allow management or employees to do normal course and perform their assigned functions. I'm a little concerned with that. If these uh, you know, employees are assigned to do a job, who's making these calls? Who's calling these shots that they're not able to do their job? They might be doing multitask in the same office. I'd have to see exactly what it says, the page before, obviously. Actually, a page before, Mayor, actually, Page before has something to do with something else. No, but if you, I need to see the report in total. Again, you um, you have the report just, obviously just it was provided for you. Sure, absolutely. Sure. sure. Um, there might be that they might be doing multitasking in the office because of the cutback in employees, but um, I would be more than happy to review that. All right. Also, Mayor, on page 48 of uh, the audit, it says, "Why is the city?" My question: Why is the city cited with weaknesses and deficiency that does not allow? us to secure federal and state grants. And again, this is verbiage that I'm taking from the audit of the auditors that the city of Union City pays, and we are letting funds that can come from the state or federal funding to help the city of Union City and not the burden we put on the taxpayer, and we're leaving it on the table. Again, could you answer that question for Sure, me? Mr. Alonso, I can't be accused on one end of bringing too much money into Union City and then being accused of not bringing enough. Uh, no one has been more aggressive in seeking grants than I have been in Union City. I probably brought in more money than most people have that have 
and representing the Union City. Uh, when it comes to federal grants, we have somebody uh, and a firm called Criven and Crivet that actively seek grants, along with Senator Menendez on behalf of Union City of New Jersey, and we've been very active in doing that. But again, this is not, I'm again a mayor, with all due respect, I'm just reading what your order states, so. Right, I'd have to see the total report. The, the audit and firm is, is kind of concerning thing when I'm looking at it, and we're leaving monies on the table, but yes, we passed an ordinance to increase our cap to 3.5%. Oh. As a taxpayer of the city, I'm burdened. Well, you know, let me tell you this much. There's no money left on the table, that's for sure. I can, I can tell you aggressively how are we are in seeking grants in Union City, both from the state and the federal. The federal's been a little bit tighter. The state, we've been a little more successful. All right, thank you for your answer. Uh, my following question, Mayor. Um, the city of... Five minutes is up. I'll allow this question. Thank you. The city of Union City... Actually, I'm going to skip to this question. Are you aware that based on your report, uh, the con uh, concerns finding from the auditing firm is that there is misappropriations of revenue in the tax collector's office, and Mayor, you have not investigated. It's, I mean, recently in the county, there has been some tax collectors that have been indicted and convicted of uh, money laundering and uh, embezzling, so I just want to know, um, again, it's on your audit, so I'm not reading anything that's on your audit. If there was anything criminal in the audit, you can guarantee that would have went down to the so prosecutor and to the attorney general. Have you called for an audit of the uh, of the city clerk's office and why that those revenues have not been balanced to your ledger, Mayor? The city hasn't balanced their ledger since 2009. Your bank books aren't balanced, Mayor. That's, that's and this the, is the findings of your audit. That's been resolved. Really? Well, that, this you. is this is the order of this year, this full year, Mayor, Thank and it's you. not resolved. Thank you. Anyone else wish Hello, everybody. My name is Charles Pratt. Sir, can you spell your name, please? P. Mm -hmm. Straight there. C H A R L E S. The middle name is Moore. M O R O R E. The last name is Pratt. P R A T T. Pratt. Thank you. I have some concern issue. Hi, everybody yeah. doing here. God bless everybody. Happy New Year. But well, my concerns here have been going on for almost possibly 10 years. I don't want to bring up the past. I don't want to keep living in the past, like the mayor addressed to me from the last conversation we had for me to move on. But I can't move on or sit, move on with my life knowing out of the situation that happened to me and I've still been attacked, I've still been hurt. You know what I'm saying? And I feel from the first incident that happened to me, my life been a, a living, excuse the language, but a living H. I put it for you in letter. But I came to the mayor, I came to Charles Eric on these instances of what this put up the department been doing to me. It went all the way to Jersey City Prosecutor Office. And everything is like been cover up. I hate to say it, but I never seen a county so cover up. And I say this and I say this to the day I die on the behalf of what they've been doing to me. And it's gotta stop and it's gotta end. Dude, I got a question for you, Mayor Brian Sack, with all due respect. Right? Are you aware of even the last incident of September 27, how cops came into my home, pushed their way into my door, forced their way, say they looking for somebody, right? I am not looking for somebody, pushed their way in my house, and they search all through my house without me having a warrant, a, a, a proper search warrant to come in my house, not even was assist by the Union City Police Department. How could police come into somebody's house and continue to break the law? on me as a person, a human being, a citizen of Union City and at one point North Bergen. How could they keep doing this to me, hurting me up, attacking me? This of course one incident, one incident all the way back from 2003 when a cop from Union City by the name of Glover Reinhardt, I'm putting his name out now because I'm tired of this. They gonna even have to kill me, but I'm gonna keep on talking until they do. Because I feel there's no justice, and no justice has been reviewed, and it's time for somebody to know what's going on with me here. And I went to the FBI, I went to the prosecutor, and I went to all, and everything get covered. And this time, for to take the shield off what they're doing to me. Because one way or another, I breathe in fair justice, and I breathe honesty. Here's another incident. How could a cop bust in my house, 
September 27th, same time. The cop going in my building, the bus in my apartment, you got two individuals doing a money transfer. Pass off. Mr. Pratt, if you can. When we met, we spoke about the one incident about the Grover Reinhardt. I sent you down to Internal Affairs. You sent me to Brian. Just allow me yes. to, and to meet with, with, Chief, with Chief Barrett and Internal Affairs. That's the right way to pursue this. If you're not happy with what they've done in Internal Affairs, the right thing would be to go to the Attorney General's office, right. or you could go to the Hudson County Prosecutor. Earlier in the conversation, Brian, I heard you state that if something, how you call it, federal or illegal is going on in the town, that you fax it or you send it to the Attorney General or the Prosecutor. Is that right? Right, Charles, but the way it should be No, done, but can you answer my question, please? I, I want, I want, I'm trying to answer it. All right. The way it should be done. Yeah, we know the way it should be done, but it's, this is my right, main Charles, question of being Charles, here. Anytime you come in to see me, I've always made time to see you. I try yes. my best to work on this with you. Yes. But there's a procedure that you have to follow, which is internal affairs. And the next step after internal affairs is I can't go to the prosecutor for you. Yeah. You have to go there yourself. If you're not happy with it, I understand that. Yeah. I don't know the total circumstances of what took place because it goes to IA. If IA finds something, then it comes to me to sign up on disciplinary charges. Yeah. The, the situation here is if you're not happy with what IA did, yeah. or the chief, or whether it was Chief Everett, Chief Barrett, whoever it was yeah. that was involved, you can go to the prosecutor's office. They don't meet with you. They have an internal affairs division. All right. What about what about what about when 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 you stated to me that how well, um, you know let it go what Reinhardt did I mean, I can let all this go but my kids was involved in this you know I don't want my kids behind what he tried to do to me they uh, the court ordered me to get a job from the superior court and now to be going to superior court and I went to the the, the, the lieutenant in the New York City Police Department and he took me all the way to his house in Bayonne and tried to rape me. You know what I'm saying? But it's not the point. It's not the point of forget and move Charles, on. Charles, if you could Charles, if you could wait after the meeting to speak with Christine Panic and myself, she's the city attorney, we'll meet with you after the meeting. You know what? I love to meet with everybody at the meeting, but I'm gonna be meeting with a lot of more people after this meeting, because you know what happened? They I really feel Honestly, for my life, y'all, and I'm gonna say this on the record with my right hand. If anything happened to me out here, y'all know what happened. I really feel I got killed by these police officers because I went to the Superior Court and I state that I feel that they're doing a hate crime on me now, Charles, Charles, based on a, two facts. What I state, what Reinhardt did to me, right, and ever since then they've been attacking me. Charles, if you can, then time is up. Just give other people an opportunity. What we'll do is after the meeting, just meet with Christine and I for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And then I'll give you the referral where you need to go, okay? Somebody gotta help me here, Brian. Please, 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 because I'm not gonna tolerate no more cops coming in my house. Okay. Talking about they, they, then when they come out, say they got a warrant, they looking for some money. Charles. But then they say we can't Charles. tell you who we're looking for. Just have a seat right now. Just wait for me after the meeting. Just I'll leave, okay? And I'll go with you. Next person that would like to speak at this time. Thank you, everybody, for listening. And the contest 512 39th Street. Um, when Mr. Alonzo was talking, it reminded me when we had the budget meeting, I went there and I made the comment about the increase in the taxes being set in stone. And I forget who the gentleman was. Well, the chief financial officer, I believe we're And he said it absolutely isn't. We're going to find out. Have we found out? No. When will we find out? What are we waiting for? Probably over the next <coughs> month or two, Kathy. What is it? Dependent on. We'll wait for different ratios of what the rates are to our account, and then we set the rate. And then what will you do? Send a letter or yeah, there'll announce be a letter, that there'll meeting? Be a letter or? There'll be a special meeting set up. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Next person wishes to speak at this time. Good evening. My name is Eric Dixon. I'm here representing Union City Concerned Citizens Group. My office address, 116 West 23rd Street, 5th floor, New York, New York, 10011. Uh, if anyone cares, I'm also a resident of North Bergen, right up the road. Um, my first question is, uh, this facility that we're in tonight, uh, since I've, I've noticed uh, over the last two months that, that you move around the meetings, various parts of Union City, uh, in the course of your, your activities as professional politicians and elected office holders, and you move the meetings around to, uh, I guess, to, to uh, e expose the <coughs> various different se uh, segments of the city to, to what's going on. Um, my question is, since this is a housing authority facility paid or subsidized with federal funds, 
is uh, does the city government have any objection to public groups such as Union City Concerned Citizens Group also having meetings here? Or is this a case where uh, this is something that a private citizens group could not have use of the same facility? You have to contact the housing. Okay. But in terms of the city government, it, does the city government have a, a, a policy or a position on, on that request? On this building? On this building. It's not our, it's not our property. It's the city of Union City Housing Authority. Okay. So I, I see no problem. Okay. Um, second issue. Um, some of the uh, items that were approved tonight on the regular agenda, the three shared services agreements uh, between the Board of Education and the city. Um, I'm curious as to why Union City which apparently has a $120 million budget, or at least realizes revenues of $120 million, according to documents I've seen, um, still can't find funds, and it, it is basically... The budget's not $120 million, but go ahead. The budget's not $120 million? No. Uh, do you remember what the I amount of the budget is? I don't remember off the top of my head, no, but I, I mean, I can give that to you, it's not a problem. Just so you know, I, I'm in possession of official documents that indicate 120. Okay. Other documents indicate <coughs> a figure of 105. Okay. So there appears to be a $15.4 million discrepancy between, between documents that Union City is providing and documents that proceed from other government authorities. Needless to say, it's a, a, a nine-figure budget, and in that amount, you're still apparently going to the Board of Ed, which itself is realizing $172 million in, in extra special aid as an Abbott district. It, this spending is out of control. According to my research, Union City, for every $2 it spends, $1 is coming from outside Union City through grants such as the grants that you <coughs> referenced earlier tonight. What is your plan to get the government spending under control? Because from my research, Union City, if you take that $120 million and change figure for revenues, only $61 million comes from revenues from the tax base of Union City, meaning half of Union City's expenditures come from outside. They come from the rest of Hudson County, neighbors such as myself, and from the rest of the state. This is a budget that's out of control. What's your plan? I disagree with you. It's a budget out of control. Our plan is as we've been de decreasing the number of employees in the city of Union City, trying to do more with less. But the budget's still 120, and that number is is an increase from prior years where it's about 102. You had a budget to minister to a similar size. They're putting more in the Union City budget, if not more. Well, that, that's like a crack addict saying, that, well, you've got other addicts that are just in, in, in no. such bad shape, no, so saying, don't, don't look at us. You're saying running government is. Well, what about... I mean, you've, you've got homeowners that are paying ten thousand uh, in property taxes per year for for properties that have a footprint that's basically twenty by fifty. Mr. Dixon, I would love to be able to decrease property taxes. Mm -hmm. so the city city's landlocked. We don't have a lot of spots to develop. We don't have a road. We don't have a waterfront. We unfortunately share the cost of the burden of the county taxes when municipalities such as North Bergen give away thirty and forty year tax abatements. So it's kind of tough. You know, when you see other tax abatements being given out throughout the county. It's kind of tough, Mr. Dixon. But if you can't grow the revenues, and if you can't always go to the state and get special grants like the Port Authority grant and, and transitional aid and, and other stuff which is basically out of control, and when all of a sudden you don't have a Republican governor that is, is basically being the benefactor no. of this city. Well, Democrats, Democrats have given us to the union city. So Jim McGreevy, Jim Florio under, under Senator Robert Menendez at the time was the mayor, Bruce Walter. But these, these um, gentlemen Jim didn't McGreevy, give out Christy transitional Whitman, aid. Christy Whitman all did. Oh, yes, they did. Yes, they did. It might have been under a different program, but under it, was the different, it was under different names of the programs over the years. District City's money, Barry Skikowski was the director at the time. But thank you for your comments, Mr. Dixon. Okay, well, well one thing, because my, the, your comments shouldn't be charged against my five minutes. Mr. Dixon, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not, Mr. Dixon. I, I have five minutes of time. That, that, that excludes. Dixon, that excludes, Dixon, excludes you'll have an opportunity at the next meeting. No, no, no thank you. I, I thank object. You very much. I object. Because, next because person, you, you ran the, you ran the can, clock on me, sir. You can object. You ran the Mr. clock on me, sir. That's not fair. That's not right. What are you what are you hiding? Mr. Dixon. Okay, my final question, Mayor. One question. It'll take 10 seconds. Have you received a target letter from the Federal Bureau of Investigation? Thank you very much for your comment, Mr. Dixon. Do you have an answer, sir? Thank you. You can have a seat. Thank you. Have you received one? Are you, de are you denied that you have received Mr. a target Dixon, you're letter? You're out of order. You're out of order right now. 
Are you can denying? You can you deny you that you perceived one? As a member Sorry. of the bar, you should know better. Have a seat, please. Have you, can you deny that you, you perceived the target letter? Mr. Dixon. You're not denying that you perceived the target Dixon. letter. Can you deny that Nick Stocko is not paying you guys to be here? Have a seat. Okay. Next question. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I can deny that, but that's irrelevant. Please, 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 please. It's being funneled, I know. Next question. Mr. Price? It's actually refreshing to see one of you two gentlemen ask the question. It's actually refreshing. No agenda, not sent here. Sincere. Thank you, sir. Uh, Bruce happy Stunning, New Happy New Year to you, sir, and to the other members of the uh, Commission. Uh, Bruce Dunning, 1620 Manhattan Avenue. At the last meeting, uh, we raised the issue of the um, uh, taping of the meetings, and you said you would be reviewing the resolution. I wonder if you've uh, reached any um, solution or um, resolution of the resolution. We, we have. We have an incorporation council answer a little bit further. Christine? Um, since the last meeting, we have the videotaping <coughs> policy, and at the next commissioner meeting on January 15th, the board will consider an ordinance revising the videotaping policy and streamlining the event. Could you give us some details about what you have in mind? For We're just going to clarify um, the regulations as to where the videotapers um, shall be placed within the room um, and just set forth reasonable time, place, and manner restrictions. There won't be any turning into the tape or anything like that. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Anyone further? Mr. Price? Six uh, this question comes a little late, but what is a school resource officer? Um, those are police officers that are assigned to various locations um, in the city. Um, there are two uniformed police officers at the high school, one at Jose Marte, one at Emerson Middle School, and one at the Early Childhood Learning Center. Um, the agreement between the Board of Education and the city specifies specifically what those officers do. They give seminars on um, DARE, on uh, drug addiction issues. They act as a liaison between the students and the police. Um, they assist the schools with various um, issues involving the students. Um, the list of their duties is quite lengthy. Is this a full-time job for those five policemen at those locations? Um, some, some of them, um, the high school, Jose Marti and Emerson Middle School, police officers are there for eight hours a day. Um, the Early Childhood Learning Center is for three hours a day. As long as school is open. Okay. Got to watch those five year olds. So. Um, okay, so basically. More, more, they, more in that school, they come in and do seminars. It's not having a police officer posted at the Early Childhood Center. It's not but a bad it, idea given recently. Right, no, I agree. I agree. The more security, the better. But it's more of the high school, the middle school the middle schools. Okay, so basically these are employees of the city and the Board of Ed reimburses the city for their expenses. Is that is that what this Correct. resolution yes. was? Okay. Yes. Okay. Actually, I have a question. <clears throat> uh, John Highness, 78 Montclair Avenue, Little Falls. Yeah, H-E-I-N-I-S. So, Mayor, I'm not sure if you or uh, Commissioner Tila Rivas have heard anything about this, but I couldn't get an answer from the police department today. So I wanted to ask you, um, have you guys heard that DPW Supervisor Henry Munker was arrested on Friday? Okay, very good. We could leave it at that. And then uh, in an article in the Jersey Journal yesterday where, we were talk where they were talking about a complaint filed by Mr. Raymond Mitchell, uh, city spokesman Mark Albias said that uh, you, Mayor Stack, were looking forward to addressing the matter in the near future. I was just seeing if you planned on addressing that matter this evening. I would be remiss in doing it any other way. Thank you for your comment, Mr. Hines. Okay, no problem. Just wanted to make sure. Happy New Year. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Anyone further? Kathy, we already did it. If I do it, I, I got to do it. I take five minutes. I got to do it, but I have to do it for everybody. Kathy, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I just want to know if the cops are armed in the school. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Are we going to have it? 
Like yes. all the time? Yes. Same no other? Motion to close the common portion of the meeting by Mayor Stack. Second. Second by Commissioner Irizarry. Roll vote to close the public common portion of the meeting. Commissioner Irizarry. Yes. Commissioner Rivas. Yes. Commissioner Fernandez. Yes. Commissioner Martinetti. Yes. Mayor Stack. Yes. At the record five days to close the public common portion of the meeting. Is all the matter before the board is there motion to adjourn? Motion. Motion by Commissioner Irizarry. Second by Commissioner Martinetti. All in favor to adjourn? Aye. Any opposed? Aye. At the record five days to adjourn. Thank you. Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.